Hey everyone, it's Anson here from Weekend Garage. Today I'll be showing you guys how to change out the spark plugs on your 2.0 TSI engine. Demo vehicle is a 2014 Tiguan. Same engine applies to Audis, uh, Jettas, GTIs, and other vehicles. This is the part number we're going to be using. We're going to need four of them. This is going to be platinum NGK plugs. What else you're going to need is a 5 8 spark plug socket that snugly holds it in just like so it has a rubber at the end so when you put it on it's not going to go anywhere and then once you screw it in you can pull it back out and then you're going to need a 3 8 extension and also a socket which we have right here and a pick tool or a flathead of some sort to get the ignition coils off. So once you get the engine open, what you want to do is just grab the cover and pull upwards, just like so. There's four tabs on the bottom. One, two, three, four. You just pull straight up and it'll come right up. Now we're gonna put that somewhere safe. Once you put that somewhere safe, what we're gonna do next is disconnect the coil pack. So here's a better angle of all the tabs and connectors. I'm gonna plug it back in to show you guys. When it's plugged in, it looks like this. And then for example, I'm gonna grab my pick tool and my flathead. Flathead's gonna be easier. You just push this plastic tab back towards the vehicle until you hear a click for all four of them. Once you hear a click for all four of them, you're going to wiggle or do one at a time, but loosen each one up and push it back. Once you push it back, it'll sit like so. And then what you want to do next, put your tool aside. We're going to grab the plugs. Let's start with this one. If you've never changed it before, it might be very hard to remove but we're just gonna pull it straight up just like so it's gonna be like a suction so we're gonna put that somewhere in order make sure you know which coil pack or which uh, ignition coil goes where there we go it was getting held in by that suction right there so now we're gonna put that aside so once we've taken that out, now we're going to go to the first one right here. There we go. That's the first one out. You can use the block as your leverage when you're pulling straight up. And now we're going to work on the final coil pack. There we go. So what helped me is, is I put two fingers under the front and I put my thumb here and I just pressed it up. There's our final coil pack. You can do an inspection. They look fine. We're going to put it on the side here. Now that we've removed four of the coil packs, we're going to grab our socket and the extension. We can do an inspection by looking into the hole. Once you get it out, you're going to pull it straight up. That's what it looks like. I'm going to show you what the new one looks like. It'll probably run much more efficient now that you drop the new ones in. The old one's pretty burnt. Now that you grab your new plug, we're going to put it into here. And then now we're going to go the other direction. So to loosen it up, we went that way. Now to tighten it, we're going to go this way. First start off by hand threading it. Make sure it's not cross threaded. I just do a hand tightening, but these are supposed to be about. Now we're going to take it out. Make sure you don't crank it in there. If it breaks in there, it's going to be a bad day for you. Now we're going to go on the next one. And then we're going to change the direction of the ratchet. Bring it up. Super burnt plug. 
I'm going to drop a new one in there. I'm going to take this aside. Now we're going to put the new one in there. Change directions on the ratchet. Make sure you don't hit the tip when you're putting it in. Make sure you're very careful. And hand thread it. Once it's at the end, get a little hand tighten. Now on to the third coil. Just make sure you never over tighten. You rather have it too loose than over tighten. Because if it's too loose, you can open this back up and tighten it if you're getting misfires. If you over tighten and it cracks in there or it strips the block. There we are. That's what the third plug looks like. Seems like they're getting worse and worse as we progress. Now we're going to put it in. Make sure you don't hit the head on anything. And to start. Like so. That's good enough. Now we're going to go to the final one. This one's pretty tight. As you can see, you just got to apply constant pressure. No cranking. No hammering on that. Gotta be gentle with it. So this is going to be the last one we're going to do. It's fairly straightforward as long as you don't over tighten anything. That's what the last one looks like. So now on to the final plug. We're gonna, just going to do what we did before. And feed it back into the funnel here. And hand tighten. Make sure it's not cross threaded. It should be very easy, just like you're seeing. Once you get to the bottom, hand tight or torque it, up to you. Now we are finished replacing the plugs. What we're going to do is grab our coil packs in the order we took them out by. And we're going to reinstall it back in the hole. First one, all you got to do is plug it in and press down. Until you hear a click just like that. On to the second one. Until you hear that click, we're good to go. Now for the first one. There we go, once you hear the click, you know they're all seated in position. And then we're gonna slide a rail back. We're gonna slide them in the connector till you hear a click. Two, three. So there's a click from all four of them. This is how you change out your spark plugs on your 2.0 TSI engine. Now we can put our cover back on and start the car up. And that's all you need to do to change spark plugs on this vehicle. It is just as easy as the Japanese vehicles, if you know what you're doing. Anyways, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.